The officials say early next year, residents could see the first signs of a nearly $50 million grant to reduce emissions. As Andres Fuentes reports, the funds will be used for solar panels, planting trees, and investing in the city's bike infrastructure. City leaders say expect a much greener New Orleans over the next five years after the city won a multi-million dollar grant from the Environmental Protection Agency. This grant is a huge investment. It's the city's largest ever investment into climate action here. Greg Nichols with the Office of Resilience and Sustainability says that New Orleans was aggressive in pitching their ideas to the EPA for the $49.9 million. The money will go toward retrofitting 41 city-owned buildings with energy-efficient infrastructure and solar panels, while also offering 1,400 solar installations for people across the city. Where we charted a course to re reducing our emissions uh, by, by net zero uh, by 2050. Funds will also go toward 7,500 new trees, specifically in underserved communities. Trees have a multitude of benefits of, of better protecting folks from, from extreme heat. Uh, they have stormwater benefits, air quality benefits. And the city's biking infrastructure will see big investments too. Blue Bikes itself is the recipient of 11.8 million. Blue Crew, the city's nonprofit bike organization, will use their money for 2,000 new bikes for rent and doubling bike stations to 250. To date, we've seen over 700,000 trips. About 70% of those are by local New Orleanians and roughly one in five are, are Blue Bikes for All riders, which are folks who qualify for either SNAP or Medicaid. The EPA will also fund seven miles of new protected bike lanes and help repair some of the damaged ones. It's estimated that through this funding, we're gonna see roughly 3.7 million vehicle miles reduced. Reporting in New Orleans, Andres Fuentes, Fox 8, Local First.